Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge and today we are talking about cyber security top 35 interview questions and their relevant answers. Let's begin. Question. What is the CIA triad in cyber security? The CIA triad stands for confidentiality, integrity and availability. It is the foundational framework in cybersecurity that outlines the three core goals of information security. Question. What is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption? In symmetric encryption, the same key is used for both the encryption and decryption. While in asymmetric encryption, a pair of keys like public and private is used for encryption and decryption. Asymmetrical encryption provides better security but is computationally more expensive. Question What is a firewall and how does it work? A firewall is a network security device that monitors and controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on the predetermined security rules. It acts as a barrier between a trusted internal network and untrusted external networks. Question: What is a DDoS attack? A distributed denial of service, commonly known as DDoS attack, is a malicious attempt to disrupt the normal traffic of a targeted service, server, or network by overwhelming it with a flood of internet traffic. Question: Explain the concept of phishing. Phishing is a type of cyber attack where attackers send fraudulent communication that appear to be from a reputable source in order to trick the individuals into revealing their sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers, etc. Question. What is the OWASP top 10 and why is it important? The OWASP top 10 is a list of the 10 most critical security risks for web applications. It is important because it helps the organizations understand and mitigate common security vulnerabilities that attackers frequently exploit. Question. What is a two-factor authentication and why is it important? Two-factor authentication is a security process that requires users to provide two different authentication factors to verify their identity. It adds an extra layer of security to prevent unauthorized access even if one factor is compromised. Question. What is the difference between a vulnerability and an exploit? A vulnerability is a weakness in a system that could be exploited by an attacker. While an exploit is the actual technique used by the attacker to take the advantage of that vulnerability. Question. Explain the concept of endpoint security. Endpoint security refers to the practice of securing the end user devices like laptops, desktops, mobile devices from the cyber security threats. It involves protecting the network endpoints from malicious activities. Question. What is a zero-day vulnerability? A zero-day vulnerability is a security flaw in software or the hardware that is unknown to the vendor or the developers. It is called zero day because once it is exploited, there are zero days of advance notice to fix it. Question. What is the difference between penetration testing and vulnerability scaling? Penetration testing involves simulating a real world attack on a system to identify the security weakness while the vulnerability scanning is the automated process of identifying potential vulnerabilities in the system. Question. Explain the concept of risk management in cybersecurity. 
Risk management in cybersecurity involves identifying, accessing, and prioritizing security risk to minimize their impact of an organization. It involves implementing security controls to mitigate the risk and protect valuable assets. Question: What is multi-factor authentication, and why is it more secure than the single-factor? authentication multi factor authentication also known as mfa requires user to provide two or more authentication factors to verify their identity making it more secure than the single factor authentication that relies on just one factor like password question what is the difference between white hat black hat and gray hat hackers White hat hackers are ethical hackers who use their skills to help the organizations improve their security. Black hat hackers are malicious hacker who exploit the vulnerabilities for personal gain. Gray hat hackers operate between the two, sometimes seeking unauthorized access for ethical reasons. Question: Explain the concept of encryption. at rest and encryption in transit encryption at rest protects the data stored on the devices or servers by encrypting it while encryption in transit secures the data as it is transmitted between the network devices question what is the role of security information and event management system in cyber security security information and event management called as siem is used to centralize and analyze the security events and log data from various systems to detect and respond to security incidents effectively question what is the man in the middle attack and how can it be prevented a man in the middle attack is a type of cyber attack where an attacker intercepts the communication between the two parties it can be prevented by using the encryption digital signatures and secure communication protocols question explain the concept of a vulnerability management program a vulnerability management program involves identifying accessing prioritizing and remedying the security vulnerabilities in an organization system and its applications to reduce the risk of cyber attacks question what is the difference between a virus a worm and a trojan horse a virus is a malicious program that attaches itself to legitimate files or programs a worm is a self replicating program that spreads without human intervention a trojan horse is a type of malware disguised as a legitimate program to trick the users into executing it question what steps would you take to secure a wireless network to secure a wireless network you can enable the encryptions like wpa2 or wpa3 change the default passwords hide the network name that is the ssid use a firewall enable the mac address filtering and always remember to regularly update your firmware question what is the difference between a vulnerability assessment and a penetration test a vulnerability assessment is a process that identifies and quantifies the vulnerabilities in a system while a penetration test attempts to exploit those vulnerabilities to access the system's security posture question explain the concept of social engineering in cyber security social engineering is a technique used by attackers to manipulate the individuals into divulging confidential information or performing the actions that compromise the security it often involves psychological manipulation and deception question what is the principle of least privilege and why is it important for cyber security 
The principle of least privilege is the practice for granting users the minimum level of access and permissions needed to perform their task. It is important because it reduces the risk of unauthorized access to the sensitive data. Question. What are the differences between a security incident and a security breach? A security incident is an event that potentially compromises the confidentiality, integrity or availability of the data or system resources. A security breach is a confirmed incident where sensitive data has been exposed to an unauthorized entity. Question. Explain the concept of threat intelligence in cybersecurity. Threat intelligence involves gathering, analyzing and sharing information about the potential or current cyber threats to proactively protect an organization's IT infrastructure. Question. What is the role of an intrusion detection system in cybersecurity? An intrusion detection system, also called as IDS, is a security tool that monitors network or system activities for malicious activities or policy violations. It alerts the security personnel when it detects any suspicious behavior. Question. What are some common types of malware and how are they spread? Common types of malware include viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, spyware, and adware. They are typically spread through email attachments, infected websites, malicious downloads, and removable media. Question. Explain the concept of a security operation center in cybersecurity. A security operation center, also called as SOC, is a centralized unit within an organization that is responsible for monitoring, detecting, analyzing, and responding to cybersecurity incidents in a real time. Question. What is encryption key management and why is it important in cybersecurity? Encryption key management involves generating, storing, distributing, and revoking the encryption keys used to encrypt and decrypt the data. It is important to ensure the security and integrity of the encrypted data. Question. What is the role of a security policy in an organization's cybersecurity strategy? A security policy is a set of rules and guidelines that outline how an organization protects its information assets. It establishes the framework of cybersecurity practices and guides the employees on proper security procedures. Question. Explain the concept of a denial of service, DOS attack and how it differs from a DDoS attack. A denial of service, DOS attack, aims to disrupt the services of a host or a network to make the resources unavailable to the legitimate users. On the other hand, a DDoS attack involves multiple compromised systems attacking a target, making it more difficult to mitigate. Question. What is the importance of regular security audits and assessments in the cybersecurity? Regular security audits and assessments help identify vulnerabilities, access the effectiveness of security controls, and ensure the compliance with the security standards and regulations. They provide insights into an organization's overall security posture. Question. What is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption algorithms? Symmetric al encryption algorithms use a single key for both the encryption and decryption. Asymmetric encryption algorithms use a pair of public and private keys for encryption and decryption. Question. Explain the concept of a security incident response plan. A security incident response plan outlines the steps of an organization should take in the event of a security incident including how to detect, contain, eradicate, and recover from the security breaches effectively. Question. What is the importance of user awareness training in cybersecurity? User awareness training helps 
educate employees about cybersecurity threats, best practices, and its policies. It empowers the users to recognize and respond to security risk, reducing the likelihood of successful cyber attacks. Thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel, Fixing Knowledge. Stay tuned to see more learnings coming soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.